Hi, this is Dave Wolver from University of San Francisco, and I am going to show you the second part in a demonstration of animation in App Inventor. And in the first part, um, what I showed you was an animation where a ball starts in the top left corner and just moves to the right lower corner and then pops up back to the left top. And these are the blocks for it. So, so on every timer event, so every some number of milliseconds, the X coordinate and Y coordinate are changed, uh, the, so the ball moves. Um, and when the ball reaches an edge, so there's an edge reached event, uh, the ball pops back to one comma one, which is the top top left corner. Uh, so let's let's add another object to to the app, and um, I'm just going to go to the animation palette, grab another ball out. And stick him in here, and let's make him a little bigger. He's he's the big ball. How about that? And then let's also give uh, or add another clock component. Um, and with that clock component, let's make him a little slower. Uh, like a hun every hundred milliseconds, that clock two will will get an event. So if we come back up here, let's let's try to do something here. Let's let's grab ball one, and notice there's a collide with event. And we know he's colliding with the second object if this event gets triggered, so we don't we don't care about this parameter. Um, but when he collides, let's let's change him, change ball one so he kind of pops up to the top left. So I'm gonna actually copy some blocks. I'm gonna use Command C on my Mac. I think it's Control C on Windows, and and Command V will paste. Um, and in this case, he would just kind of move the same direction. So let's. Let's fiddle with this a little bit. Let's make the coordinates both x and y, you know, change by uh, 40, and and be subtracted instead of added. So uh, he should pop up towards the top left corner. Um, ball one should win. He hits the second ball. So well, there you go. So the ball is is doing its timer event to move down and right, but then when he hits this big ball, he kind of pops up to the to the left. All right, so let's 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 now get kind of closer to something like asteroids, and let's make the big boulder ball move a little bit. So here's clock two dot timer, and um, what we're going to want to do is is move ball two um, on that timer. So let's grab that, and let's just make instead of going diagonal, let's just make him go go straight. So um, we'll keep his y coordinate the same. And so let's grab ball two dot y here, and then we'll move his x coordinate. So I'll grab an x, and then let's uh, grab the math and grab a plus, and so stick that in there. And so let's just let's have him move. I don't know, not very fast, but how about fifteen per every every timer event? So. I think that big guy should be moving now. And notice he he stops when he gets to the right edge. So we we better add a edge reached event for ball two. So I'm going to grab edge reached, and let's put him in here. And when the edge is reached, let's let's get him back over to the left side. So in this case, well, let's go ahead and copy this guy. Command C, Command V. So now I'm going to. On the edge reached, I'm just gonna leave the Y the same, so we'll keep him on the same horizontal plane, um, but we'll just take him back to the left side. So that's should be the X coordinate to one, and the Y stay as it as it is. So that's the edge reached. Uh, we made some changes, so let's let's restart our phone, and I'm doing connect to phone. And uh, you know, anytime you make changes in the blocks, like the ones we just did, um, the emulator is, needs to kind of be restarted. Um, sometimes when you make you know minor kind of graphics changes, um, everything will just work work as you know without having to restart the emulator. But anyway, here's our app coming back up in the emulator, and we should see both balls moving, and we should also have the collision event still work when they when they connect to each other. So there we go, we saw a collision there and the balls are moving and uh, that's that's kind of an animation. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, uh, part three, I will show you some end user activity. So I'll put a start and a stop button in and let the end user control what's happening. Thank you.